Lead to some breaking news from overnight now. We've learned that the LMPD is investigating an officer involved shooting in Portland. This happened on North 25th Street, and this morning we know one of the two people shot has died. Jim Stratman is live from LMPD headquarters this morning with more because, Jim, we did just get these details in the last few hours. They're new to people this morning if they are just waking up. Yeah, that's right, Grace. Uh, at 11 o'clock, we had not heard from Chief uh, Jacqueline Gwynn Villarreal well at, at that point, and so this new information coming in overnight, it, it, we were learning more about what exactly happened at that scene. Again, as you said, or as Eric said, one person dead, one person in critical condition due to an officer involved shooting. Uh, we're told that this was a domestic situation, or at least that's how it began. Officers responded around 845 last night to the 400 block of North 25th Street in the Portland neighborhood. The 911 caller telling dispatchers they believed that a family member was on drugs and had pulled a gun on other family members in that house. We're told that a small child was in the house at the time as well. When officers arrived, they reportedly heard loud arguing coming from a room upstairs. The chief said that officers tried to talk to the people in the room, but when the situation escalated, those officers forced their way in and shots were fired. The officers immediately rendered life saving aid to the individuals. One individual died, unfortunately, at the scene. Medics transported the other to the University of Louisville Hospital, where he is in critical condition. Chief VROL said officials did find guns in the upstairs room. Officers were wearing body cameras during the time of this shooting and per department policy, that video will be released in the next 10 business days. Now, what we do not know at this point, what we're still trying to figure out is the relationship between all the people involved here. Who were the two people shot? Who fired those shots as well? Those are the two big questions we're working to answer and also to get an update on the condition of that person in the hospital. Once we do have more information, we will be sure to let you know both on air and online.